Bros. Game of the Week is Atari 720. Seven Twenty Degrees, or Seven Twenty, is a 1986 arcade game by Atari Games. Seven Twenty skateboarding game is notable in that, along with BMX Simulator, it is one of the first extreme sports video games. It has a unique time structure that requires the player to score points in order to keep the game going. The game's name comes from the ultimate trick. Turning a full 720 degree to complete two circles in the air after jumping off of the ramp. 720 has the player controlling a skateboarder ripping around a middle class neighborhood by doing jumps and tricks. The player can eventually acquire enough points to compete at a skate park. From official materials, it's just you, your trusty skateboard, in a hundred bucks as you skate, jump, slide, spin, and move through four levels of difficulty. Picking up loose cash, earning money through events, and finally earning a ticket to one of the big skate parks. If you're lucky, you'll get to buy some rad equipment to make you the coolest skateboarder alive. The game begins with the player controlling a skateboarder, skating around a middle class neighborhood using common objects as ramps for jumps. The player begins with a number of tickets, each of which granting a mission to one of four skate parks or events in Skate City, the hub between the parks. When the park is entered, one ticket is taken. The player gains additional tickets from earning points. Whenever the player isn't in an event, a bar counts down the time remaining until the arrival of a deadly skateboarder hungry Killer bees. Once the bees arrive, the player still has a small amount of time with which to get to a park. But the longer the player delays this, the faster the bees become until they are unavoidable. Getting caught by the bees ends the game. Though on default settings, the player may elect to continue his game by inserting more money. Reaching a park with a ticket gives the player the chance to earn points, medals, and money with which to upgrade his equipment and resets the timer. The player is constantly racing to perform stunts both in events and in the park itself in order to earn the points needed to acquire tickets. Thus, the player's score is directly tied to the amount of time he has to play the game. In order to win, the player must complete a total of 16 events through four hubs difficult task to ask. A good choice, the cabinet for this game is unique. The speakers for the game are mounted atop the cabinet in a structure resembling a boombox in line with the game's skate rat theme. This display is larger than that for a typical arcade game in very high resolution, similar to the one used for Paperboy. The main control is also unique. This joystick moves in a circular fashion instead of in compass directions like a standard joysticks. The game also contains two buttons, one for kicking, which refers not to actual kicking, but refers to pushing the skateboard with a foot for speed. And the other is for jumping. The game supports up to two players alternating play. The unique uh, joystick on this, do you think the game is using a spinner control? The original controller for 720 degrees was a joystick that was hardware limited to only travel along the outermost edge in the circle. The internal mechanism for reading this control was similar to a spinner except that it had an additional benefit of knowing which direction the joystick was pointing. Because this knowledge is an important aspect of the game current emulation of the controller maps an analog joystick to the underlying controls instead of a spinner. So there you go guys, there is 720 from Atari, made in 1986. It's a difficult task to win 16 events through four hubs to win the game. 
but it is possible. Do you have what it takes to become the ultimate skateboarder in winning this game? Come check it out. See if you can do it. And hopefully, we'll see you in the game.